Well, in an interview with 2020's Diane Sawyer, Bruce Jenner, who just announced he had the final surgery done in his metamorphosis, his transformation into Caitlyn, okay? They discussed many topics, including transgender rights, LGBT rights, Bruce stance as a Republican, despite the fact that, well, everything he stands for, really, you would think would lean him more left. Well, he may be drifting a little bit more that way, okay? He's not very happy with the Republican Party as he sat down with Diane Sawyer and discussed this. Now, on the subject of LGBT rights, Sawyer probed whether or not Jenner's firm belief in traditional unions had changed. The former Olympian's response was emphatic. I am 100% behind gay marriage, he said. Didn't used to be. He says, I think two years ago, you said it was an evolving process, Sawyer pushed. Which it was, yes, Jenner, Jenner uh, replied. But I am, get it straight, I am for it. I am all for it, he said. The two also touched on Jenner's controversial affiliation with the Republican Party, a fact that rolls many members of the overwhelmingly progressive LGBT community. Are you still a Trump Republican? Sawyer had questioned. Yes, I did vote for Trump, Jenner said, but here's the deal breaker with the Republican Party, Jenner responded. You mess with my community, you do the wrong thing with our community, you don't give us equality and a fair shot. I'm coming after you, he said. And yes, I still refer to him as he, okay? Jenna then articulated support for former President Barack Obama's directive on trans inclus inclusion in the military and further noted a desire to mobilize the Republican Party to engage in similar policy changes. You haven't talked to Trump, right? Sawyer asked, secretly or privately. Jenner recalled a chat with the president at an inaugural cocktail party, although Trump invited Jenner to play golf with him. The latter eventually decided that it wasn't a, quote, good idea. Okay, so anyway, guys, I'll put the full link below if you want to check out some more of that transcript of the interview between the two. We're living in the last days where abominations like this, when you can just change your gender, when you think it's okay, when you slap God in the face and you embrace this and you normalize it, you legalize abominations like gay marriage, you're opening up the door for potential judgment and for God to remove his hand from a nation. That's one thing we don't need, not in the United States, and really we don't need to see that anywhere in the world. But we are living in the last days. Jesus Christ is coming back soon. Guys, if you've never accepted Jesus Christ before, let me know. Leave me a comment below. Let me know you would like to receive Christ as Lord and Savior. You can be born again, forgiven of all of your sins. Come into the kingdom of God. We'll have everlasting life, a home in heaven for eternity, guys. There's no better, there's no, no better decision you'll ever make. There's not. This is your eternity we're talking about here. It's your eternity. All right, guys. Thank you so much to all the new subscribers that have joined up recently. I greatly appreciate it. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe to me here, Cardsfan480. You can find me here on YouTube, also on Periscope as well, both locations if you'd like to look me up there as well. I'll continue to keep you guys up to speed here on all the latest breaking news, current world events, and Bible prophecy updates, guys. Until then, you guys take care. Be safe out there. God bless each and every one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.